Last Sunday at this very flea market, I picked up a vintage plush toy. I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Oh my God. How cool. How much on him? Oh, I'd give him three bucks. Three bucks? Ow. Not bad, right? Just the three dollars. And this thing's gone on to sell on the same day that I got home listed it for $95. Really super rare toy. I knew that it would sell well. We're trying to find stuff like this here at the flea today. I'm gonna to put it all onto eBay and make a profit. So let's get into it. I'll show you what I'm picking up. These are cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I don't even know what these are, hey? So this is Salem. This is a, she's actually a Gold Coast artist, a well-established brand as well. She sells primarily through Zoomies. Zoomies, oh yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. But she's, um, yeah, she's doing these, really well. That's actually her, that image there. That's her? Yeah, that's the girl who owns Salem. Nice. Mind if I record this super quickly? I oh. am uploading some of this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, That's go my for it. Very first sale at a market. So is he right now? So. Oh, I've got a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, awesome. awesome. Oh, me. What? Are, what's your channel? I haven't even started up yet. That's so the way. That's the way to do we'll it, mate. We'll find out soon. Just get involved. I love that. He hasn't even made his channel name yet. Everyone stresses on the little detail, and he's just out here hitting record and just getting into it. I recommend that you guys, if you want to start a social media channel, just do the same thing. Just get started. Was it a dollar on the books, was it? I think I got nine there. There's 10. Perfect. You can hold on to it. It's oh, all fine. No stress. Cool DVDs. Now, even if we completely strike out down here today, I've got Joel, a viewer of the channel, coming over to my place at 10 a.m. And he's bringing you a bunch of stuff. He was actually gonna come down to the flea market today and he said, before I do, maybe I'll come to your place and you can buy some of my best stuff and I'll bring the other stuff down next week. So really nice of Joel to do that. I'm very excited to see what he brings. And uh, that'll be at the end of this video, so stick around. These are cool, guys. Yeah. How much on them? We're doing them for 50. 50? US 7. Do you know which ones they are? Um, I know the 97s, is about it. Yeah, that's about it. Here's a shoe, man. What's this? Those, bro, are 75. Here's the shoe, man. Oh, what's he got over there? What's this? MX 97s, yeah. Yeah, but like specifically? Do you know which colorway? I don't know, bro. It's probably a bit of brown. I'm yeah. Not sure. Yeah. What do you got here? You got a bunch of different I got shoes. A bunch of different stuff. Sorry, bro, I'm just setting up, man. I'm just slow. Um, you after any? What size are you, man? I'm after just shoes in any, general, you know? man. Yeah. yeah. These, here, bro, have a brass here. These are all like 20 bucks, man. 20. Yeah, they're all used, but. Um, How much would you do for the box? The whole box? Yeah. Jeez, bro. 50? 50? <laughs> Check the whole box. Bro. Yeah. Honestly, all right. If you want to. Done. Yeah? Oh, yeah. bro, thank you. You see? You yeah. see me so much space. Nah, man, that's that's done. Easy, dude. I'll yeah. see if I can spend some more with you. Yeah, yeah, easy, man. Take these up. Yeah, easy. So, um, I stand Smith. Two, go. No. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Is he a good luck? Oh, here. I'll take I'll take the I'll take the ten. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. thank you so much. Sorry, I had no bag. That's alright. Okay. Just the size are a bit smaller on these, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, these are for Y, bro. Um, they're, they're 50 bucks. 50 on there. Yeah, Nike Dunks. I have them at like 80. Uh, the Nike Dunks are, I have them at 90, bro. Yeah. Is that the right box? That's the right box, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other Dunks? <laughs> no. I saw that uh, three, three Dunks last, uh, two weeks ago. I wasn't here last week, but I'm usually, I'm trying to be here consistently. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at those. Yeah. And what do you got back here? Just all you guys stuff. And, um, come by. Sorry, dude. Nah, man. It's all good. Sorry. Awesome X9, shoes. Like X9000 L3s. They're all brand new. These ones are all brand new. That box is used, but um, these Sick. are all brand new. So I have a brows, size 12s. These are wrong box, but just the Pumas. So I can do these for like 25 or 30. Yeah, okay. How much for all of these? Oh, damn. 
Um, it's getting you early, eh? Yeah, dude, there you go. Uh, That's what you want, though, isn't it? 100%. Um, I had these at 30, bro, like the Cosmic 2, but if you take all of them, I'll do them for 20, like 20 each, in a sense. Yeah. So that's part of them, the two. Let's have um, a look at those. So these are just brand new, just triple white, bro. Triple By the way, whites. these are all real, too, man. I don't sell fake. Right? Yeah, they, I know. I can definitely judge that. Um, that's cool. But yeah, so I, I have them at 30 each, but if you want all of them, bro, so that's one, two, three, four, four, five, it's, uh, that's a hundred. hundred. Um, for this one, the lowest I could probably do is, they're brand new still. Actually, no, these have been worn. Um, 40 for these ones, bro. Yeah. 40 what? for those ones. They're brand new. The Pharrell Williams are a bit expensive. Uh, I have them at um, 80. 80 on them. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, it's just the size on a few of them. Oh, sorry, guys. Are these? Yeah, I've got those. Oh, this, yeah, this shop is it? Them, so. uh, Are they yours? Yeah. Oh, my God. I should move them, shouldn't I? Uh, I'll oh, slide her down here. I think you got best booth at the market, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. You got cool right. stuff. <laughs> right. Um, all right, so we're going to go We're gonna go dunks in the box. Hundy? 50? Ooh. How much you got on that? This is 50, bro. I'll give you the whole box for 50, but the dunks. 50? I can't do 50 on the dunks, man. I'm sorry. How much? Uh, lowest I can do in the dunks, probably probably 80, man. 80? Yeah. Would you go 60? Not 60, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm going to be firm. Just because the box itself, I could probably sell the box as well for like. Seven youth. Yeah. 80. All right. Let's do 80. Yeah. So what does that mean? 130? Yeah. All right. Easy, There's bro. a hunch. Thank you. And. Uh, Got a 20, man. I yeah, think I uh, yeah. think five back and we're good. Thanks, dude. Appreciate ah, it, Ah, that's man. epic, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Do you come often? Yeah, every week. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, true. So if you got any more or you bring more stuff down yeah, or... Yeah, I'll definitely. Like, this Even like, during the week, man. This is like my third time, honestly. Is it? Yeah, like my third time just... You got good stuff. Thanks, bro. I try. It's good my clothing, order too. mentality. Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> love that. It's when I see sales, I just can't resist. No, man, I hear you. Wow guys, what a huge start. I'm gonna go through all of this a little bit later in the video, so stick around, it, it could be anything in there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel guys, now would be a very good time to do so. I come down to this flea market every single Sunday, so if you're enjoying this content, there's plenty more videos to come. Some of these can go pretty well if you get the right ones. Thinking this though, 1994. <laughs> Looks like it's battery powered. You got a busy little booth here, don't you? Just now? Yeah, yeah. they've all come in. One brings a crowd, I guess. Does the calculator work all fine, do you know? I actually haven't tested it lately. You haven't got batteries in it either. No worries. There's some batteries here and I'm just sort of... <laughs> How much would you do it for? Oh, look, um, three bucks. No worries. Three. I'll, uh, I'll give, I've got a five dollar note, I'll give you five. Oh, yeah, good. You can keep it. Really? All good. Thank you. Much appreciated. If you're just starting out, you probably won't be aware that calculators, scientific calculators, actually do really well. Um, so that TI-84, I've seen that go a number of times before. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos where people have flipped it. Um, so to pay $5 for it, yeah, sure, I don't know if it's working, but it comes with its manual. Put some batteries in it. I think it's a $5 risk that's definitely worth taking. 
Um, not 100% sure on the comps on the scientific calculators, but I'll, I'll whack it up on screen here for you to give you a bit of an idea. All right. So pretty happy with what we've been able to pick up so far. I mean, it was all those shoes that I haven't even really seen yet, but we only got them for 50, so that was pretty good. Um, this is another part of the market as well. This is where you get like your fresh fruit and veg. And there's a bunch of other vendor stalls through here, but uh, we're gonna go and grab some breakfast because I'm starving and I've got Joel turning up in like an hour's time. So I'm gonna fill the stomach. Tune. Alright guys, there's no other option but to just dive into this together. Uh, I'm really excited about this. Remember I paid 50 and then I bought these dunks for 80 I think it was. So I spent 130 all up. Um, completely genuine these things I believe. US 7.5. Yeah, yeah, that 100% that genuine. One thing I do when I do buy the size youth, um, like a seven youth here in this example, is I'm gonna go ahead and list them up as a women's shoe. So this would be a women's size eight and a half. So that's how I'll market it. Women's eight and a half should get a better sale than a, a kid's size. And also uh, marketing it as a women's shoe, uh, you'll get a few more dollars as opposed to kids, which is a little bit cheaper. First one off the bat, have a look at these. We've got the Dame 7 Nature Boys. Look at that. This is Ric Flair, WWE wrestler. This is Damian Lillard as well, the Dame Sevens. Ric Flair editions. These things go for about 130 in pre-owned condition. Um, they are a men's 10 and a half. Uh, those are amazing. Um, great size, Ric Flair. No, look at that, Nature Boy. Big fan of those, what a way to kick it off. Can't believe this dude gave them all to me for $50. It's just a, oh, what's that? Oh no, that's just a bit of dirt, that's fine. Shoes are in good condition. Should get about 100 for them. These are nice. Don't know what they are. They are very, very cool. Bit of wear. Definitely a bit of wear. He's, um, he was a true collector, this dude. And um, I think for him, seeing this sort of wear would have really downgraded the value in his mind. But in my mind, there's still a serious amount of value to be had. Uh, we've got some Jordans here. Look some, they look a little, yeah, they look a little beat up, but they're not too bad. It's a fairly small size, these ones, but the soles are still in really good condition, which I'm loving. Um, yeah, what size are they? Don't know which Jordans they are. But they're a four and a half youth, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. They're Jordans, so they'll sell. Someone's going to buy those. Uh, what have we got here? Yep, cool. Don't know. I like the Hyperdunk. Kind of like a Hyperdunk. Um... They are nothing. That's just a pair of footy boots, some Umbro, I think, footy boots. Um, these are nothing as well. They're just an entry-level Adidas. Might get about, I don't know, 25, 30 for those. Are they laceless? Wow. They're cool. Prime Blue, Ultra Boost, laceless, and they're uh, men's 10 and a half. Uh, these are nice as well. Another pair. He's got a lot of Adidas, it seems. He's got the Parleys. I've sold these a few times before. Soles are still in great condition as well. He's kind of discredited the value of all of these. They're actually, actually some pretty damn good shoes. So, there's that one there. These these are great, these Ultra Boosts. They're nice. And what size are they? They're a 10 as well. This is so good because the so Oh, is that? No, that's all right. It's deceiving. Sometimes you think they're peeling away, but they're actually not. No, nah, that's completely fine. So that's good. There's the other one. Nikes. Oh, I like them. They're very old school. What year are these? They're a US 10, 2018. Never seen them before. Hmm. I have to do some research into all this, but they're a nice pair of shoes as well. What size are they? Size 9. Planes and the Nike Air Max. So... All up, how much have we spent here? $130, or let's say 50 for the box, and we've got sellable shoes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pairs of shoes for $50. That's just good maths, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. 
Take out your time, eh? Yeah, yeah. And I, where I have all this, it's going to have to be my office. Oh, okay. So you're cleaning completely out. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the easiest way to go about this is. Um, we can start to maybe pull it out, even if we pull it out just here. Yep. Um, and you can just pick through and just, say, I don't want that, don't want that. Yeah, I reckon we do that. Sweet. Yeah. I'll set the camera up on the bin over here and we'll just line it up just maybe just out the front. This is a bit of odds and sods here. I found some comics at home, which I don't do. So. Sweet. Comics are great. I've been selling quite a few comics of late. <laughs> That's awesome. And some video games. Are they in there? Are they? I don't know. No, I think the video games were... Lord of the Rings and Ninja Turtles. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Action figures have been a big eye-opener for me this year. Yeah, I noticed you were saying that. And then I found them under my desk. And I went, ah, well. Yeah. Matt will probably go through them too. Absolutely. Nice. Do you know quantity wise how much you've got in here? I wouldn't have a clue. No idea? No. Your games. Yeah, there is all the games. Oh, that's cool. That's um Little Elvis Jones. Oh nice. That's gotta be good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And you got Wentworth. SpongeBob. Mario Kart DS. And it's all been through um, thrift stores that you've been finding at all? Yeah, I've got to have a couple of contacts up there and they'll put the side for me and then I... Um... It's incredible. That's exactly how to do it, hey? Did you have a price in mind around, say from a media aspect, like say we were to go ahead with all of your DVDs, have you got a price in mind? No, because there is one box. What's yeah? What was the holy grail that you were? Seasons one to twenty of Simpsons. Oh really? Shit. Plus I've got a part set as well. Oh wow! One to twenty. Yeah. That's insane. Just find the box that it's in. How? What's the story behind the find of of that? I had half of it, and then I was watching your video, and you said it's worth you know it's quite worth a, a bit bit. Of money. Yeah, absolutely. And then I was only missing five. Yeah. And I managed to find all five the weekend after you. Oh, you're kidding. So you had a part set and then you found the rest. Yeah, and one is a brand new copy of, I think, season 19 or season 18 oh, is brand new. That's that's actually the grail. That's I mean, the set's amazing, but to find a sealed 19. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Oh, that's... that's that's, that's what everyone wants to 17. find. 17. 17. But here is your... That one could be, could be in. there it is. Wow. Season 19, <laughs> brand new and sealed. That's going to be like $100, right? About a $100 DVD just for one of them, brand new and sealed. But I think I'm pretty sure I'm, my numbers were around 800 or something for a full set, one to 20. About $800 worth of value right there, guys. It has dropped. Yeah. I have noticed that it has fallen because I think everyone's had them and they didn't know <laughs> that they were worth anything. It's a quick 800. It's dropped down to maybe six, 700 probably. But uh, yeah, I mean, geez. If you didn't have the full set, you'd list that up individually, wouldn't you? No, obviously. Simpsons is a big one. Father Brown's good. Yeah. That's a good set. Father Brown. I think I sold him for about 25 recently. Yeah, they've got agents, some of the Agent Shield ones, some of the units. It's a complete series. I haven't seen that. Berkeley Square. Yeah, no, awesome, man. Oh, this is the other one. Beverly Hills. Yeah, Beverly Hills is great. The old version, right? Yeah. Is that the five? Oh, no, you got oh, no. six and eight. Oh, is this the... Oh, no, that's the old school stuff. Oh, the modern version only goes up to season five. The old school stuff goes all the way up to eight, I think, which looks like... That looks like all weight. Yeah. All weight of Beverly Hills. That's good. I think it's like 80 or 90. Because really? the video games, there's less of them. Like working on a per unit price even and then count them all out. All right. So $2 a piece. Yeah, 2 bucks a piece. And then however many there are, I'm happy to just confirm that. Yeah. Um, um, so call it 180. Yep. 180 on the games. Um, and you were saying you wanted 300 on the Simpsons. 
Oh, you got another one in there. Yeah, and there's more box sets over there. More in there, yep. Oh, no, I learned a lot from you. So it's, um, it's kind of like paying it back in a way. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you tuning in. So what, what are we up to? We're up to 180. And then what do you want to do on all the, say, all of the Simpsons? If you had 300 on the first set, what do you want to do for the rest of them? Would you do another 100 for all the rest of them? So say 400 on the Simpsons? Yeah, for, for all of them. Yep. Yep. All, 400 on all the Simpsons, I'm fine with that. Just having a look at these comic books because I've been doing okay in the comic books recently, but I don't, again, know too much about the category. But there looks to be some pretty cool titles in here. Bunch of Marvel, some old school Punisher. And you found these, what, in an op shop or something, did you? Yeah, um, or a... up at um, Bar. Nice, you just bought a big lot of them, did you? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It'd be one you'd, it, it, for a bit of fun you'd go into doing a bit of research on, you know? 15. 15 of them? Yeah. What do you reckon? Can do a dollar each. Can do a 15 bucks. Yep. yep. Add that to the mix. I'll take those. You got a season 14, 15, and 16. So we've got a few more all there. All right, so I've grabbed this allocation right here of DVDs. We've just gone through and we've kind of tried to cherry pick the best of the bunch and we're just going to count them all up and then add to this collection here that we've already made, which is going to be $600. And then we'll count all this up and see what it works out to. All right, so we've got 180. There were 90 all up there, so 180 plus 600. We're looking at a deal of $780. Beautiful, mate. Happy days. <laughs> That is incredible. I'm happy to I could help you out. Look, I'm, I'm You're certainly helping me. <laughs> well, mate, it's it's an incredible it's an incredible opportunity. I'm leaving all of this behind though, guys. So if you're in the area, Carrara Markets. Next Sunday. Next Sunday, this is all going to be up for grabs unless I turn up to your place and during the week. You're more than welcome. Come and strike again. <laughs> but um, no. we're going to hunt for a couple of things you. Yeah, find. yeah. There are a few in here that we're kind of looking at. I think that's a good one too. Target collection. Um, yeah, a lot that I've left behind. A lot of money on the table here that I'm leaving. But I really think the opportunity today was to kind of be able to pick out the best of the bunch. Uh, and also, too, for me, it was actually to grab the video games because I'm kind of fairly light on for video games. I don't seem to come across them too much. So to be able to find a good 90 video games in there, very excited about that. But a lot of these other DVD sets that we've got here are big heavy hitters, um, sort of working over $50, $60 plus um, for series sets. And I was kind of passing on series sets that were partial in this mix like there's a lot of great tv shows in here and tv shows are what you want you don't want your singles you want your multiples of season sets but if you're missing i don't know one example there were so many in there where it was just like a season two or a season four missing and given the opportunity that i've got to cherry pick those are the ones that i was sort of leaving behind but if you're out in an op shop or something you just go ahead and pick them up wouldn't you yeah. um so yeah really really cool allocation and very much appreciate you letting you come across I'm yeah. down here all the time as well for work. So. Good stuff. Right. Unreal to connect, mate. Do appreciate it. Much appreciated. We'll see you, you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, mate. Bye. See you later. So this is really good, guys. It's been a huge day. Obviously, all the shoes that we picked up initially and then to pick up all this media of, off Joel. Um, incredible get. Obviously, the, um, the action figures in there as well. But a bunch of video games, DVDs, good season sets. You know, $600 worth of Simpsons DVDs. I just think the $780 deal was a good one, right? Um, we're doing all of this and we're buying so much because we're working through this little game plan right here. Um, we just need to list out these items here and then I'm off to America. But I also needed to source 200 items, right? Um, so those 200 items are pretty much now secured. So what we're looking at there is what Courtney's going to be listing up while I'm over in the US. So I'm really, really stoked now because I don't leave for another two weeks. Today's the 23rd. So being the 23rd, we've got one week, two weeks before I actually go. And I now, because of this buy and all of this, what we've been doing today, I don't need to source anything for the next two weeks. So we just have to work through all of this stuff and, you know, have it all scheduled up for when I get back and then list up the stuff that I buy over in the US. So, so much time up our sleeve now. We can kind of methodically go through all of this, list it up really well, clean it, make sure it's presentable for listings. But yeah, man, this room, this room is just forever just growing.
So it's definitely been a pretty damn big morning, that's for sure. We've spent a lot of money. I think about 900 and something odd dollars was spent today, um, but it gets us really well ahead of the game as I just touched on there. If you're loving this sort of flea market style content, remember, subscribe to the channel. We're very, very close to 20,000 subs and we're glad to get you on board. This video right here is another trip to the flea market that I did a few weeks ago where I bought some very, very cool stuff. So enjoy that video. Thanks so much for being here for this one. We'll see you soon.